Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit Goyal. I hope you are you are liking my videos. This is my another video in continuation of Visual Force architecture. In today's video, I am going to tell you about the different types of controllers available under Visual Force. So basically, first of all, let's understand what is a controller. A Visual Force controller is a set of instructions that specify what happens when a user interacts with the component specified in associated Visual Force markup, such as when a user click a button or a link in a, on a Visual Force page. Controllers are also used to provide access to the data that should be displayed in a page and can modify component behavior. So we have two types of controllers available under Visual Force. First is a standard controller. Second is a custom controller. Standard controllers, uh, they have the same logic and functionality as they are originally used in standard pages. And custom controllers, basically custom controllers are used to implement the logic and functionality without using a standard controller. Or we can say that with the help of custom controller, we can build our own logic and functionality. And custom controllers are written using Apex, Apex classes. So basically custom controllers are used to deliver the uh, flexibility to define your own logic, your own navigation. You can create your own algorithms and database and web service interactivity. But in this video, I'm going to tell you about the standard controllers. And I'm going to demonstrate you how to use a standard controller in a Visual Force page. So basic uh, where to write the standard controller in a Visual Force page. So as you can see here, the uh, the standard controller can be write as an attribute in an fx colon page tag. So like this is the syntax fx colon page standard controller and here will be the object name or which object you want to associate with this standard controller to access or to read or to write the data in data. Okay. These are the standard controller actions or default action you can say that. So we, we have apex colon command button, apex colon command link, action support and action function. Command button, it is used to create a button that calls an action. Command link, it is used to create a link that calls any action or to perform any action. Action support and we have action function. So let me demonstrate you how to create an visual force page with the help of a stand using a standard controller so for this first of all let me open my or logged into my visual force sorry salesforce page so as you can see here i have already logged into my salesforce now the best way or the the best way to create an apex or the visual force pages with the help of url method so here i am going to write which i have already told in my earlier videos apex slash and my page or let's say uh, display page enter it will it will give this kind of error message that page does not exist so I just click on this link and it will create a visual force page for me So you can see the page has been created with the code below. So this is the coding part and this is the designing, basically this is the preview section and this is the designing section or the coding section. Here we can write, create our codes or we can write our program over here. Now the, let's see the scenario and the scenario is, let me switch to my sales first, sales application and uh, what I wanted to do is, I wanted to add a new record into an account object using a visual force page with the help of a standard controller yeah so i want to do save the i want to create a visual force page which will save the data into account object so for this i have already opened the i have already created a visual force page over here and eliminated the default coding over here now what I have done over here, I have written a stand, I have added a 
standard controller as an attribute to this apex colon page and provide the name over here this is basically the api name of the object now let me write the code over here so first of all what i wanted to write is i wanted to add apex colon form over here then here i wanted to add apex colon page block and title is equal to account information here I wanted to add a apex colon page block section and in this section I wanted to add one input field because I wanted to get the data from the user so apex colon input field value is equal to colon and account dot name account dot name if I simply save this much and let's see what is the output for this first first thing let's see I save this much and you can see I have got an account name field over here and a text box or an input field and here I can input a my account name now I, I need a button over here so that when uh, I can save this record into my account object so for this I created a new section over here apex colon page block buttons and in this I write apex colon command button and the value is equal to save and there will be one default action is equal to associated with this button and action will be save so basically these are the default action so this is the action which is associated with this command button and whenever I click on this button so this action will help me to save the data into this account object save this let's try this so here I enter BISP solutions I and C dot and click on save button so if you if you'll see over here I have an account added over here BISP solution INC over here so this is how we can take the help of the standard controller and can save the record into a so basically I can say that the standard controller it you they utilizes the standard functionality of the object which we define and we with the help of standard controllers we can creating a record or we can create a record or we can display the records also so in this previous example I shown you how to add a new record into an account object or into an object in my next example I'm going to show you how to display the record from an object into a visual force page so for this let me create one another visual force page very quickly so in the URL I write apex slash this page enter click on this link to create a page now in this scenario I wanted to display the record okay I wanted to display the record from an object into my visual force page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a standard controller over here standard controller let's say account and with this standard controller we required one more attribute over here and that attribute here is the record setware record setware and the name now why do we use record setware over here basically 
this standard controller attribute this attribute specify the type of record that we want to access this record set where attribute indicates that the page uses a list controller and the variable name of the record collection right so basically we have used this record set where now I wanted to uh, read the data from this any from this account object so basically there are two ways to display the record the page block table and the data table in this in this example I am going to use the page block table so how to create a page block table first of all apex colon form and here I write apex colon page block sorry apex colon page block table and this page block table will be within apex colon page block tags it's a hierarchy which we have to follow page block table and this table will be going to display the value from which particular object so we have to give here the object name this will be going to display the data from the accounts and there is one more attribute that attribute is a variable attribute is equal to a cc and here I simply write apex colon column value is equal to a cc sorry colon a cc dot name so I write here acc.name when I save this code and when I run this code you can see the output over here it will display the all the account names from this account object so these all are the account names from this account object so this is how to use a standard controller in a visual force page that's all for this video I'll come up with a new video and in next video I'm going to demonstrate you how to create a custom controller and how to work on a custom controller and I hope you are like this I hope you are liking this video and this video will be very helpful to you for understanding the difference between a standard controller and a custom controller and how to use a standard controller I'll see you in next video till then bye bye have a nice day